Good morning. How you guys doing today? We're in the garden area. Thought I'd let you guys see this little beauty here. First one I ever seen with a maroon color. But that's why you're not here. I'm not an agriculturist. Well, I figured I'd let you know how I did the barrels. So I could uh, collect rainwater with these. As you see, I have a gray piece of PVC and white PVC. And if you look inside, you'll see a big washer and a lock nut. Over there, you see the same type of thing. Basically, electrical fittings had threads available. So I used electrical fittings for the connection to the jar, a piece of gray pipe go from like at this, on the other ones, T's, this is just an elbow. And I just put in all the fittings inside first. Let me get my finger out of the way so it will focus. And then I just glued in this part into it. Then I added all the white pipes across. As you can see how many there be. This was the extra one because we have a knife barrel we didn't do. So, but I thought I'd give you a little short video on how these barrels are done. The funny thing is, if you look at them, I didn't even plan this. They're all level with the ground, with the barrel on the uh, ground. I just measure from the top roughly and uh, drill the hole with a unit bit or set bit as some people call them. But I made it a little tight so I would thread in the electrical connector so give it a little bit more. I put a rubber gasket on the outside. They will leak but over time they will fill up with whatever. And stop leaking but I mean there'll be 400 gallons of water these barrels are uh, pickled uh, pepper boxes so if you're ever looking for some the shadow knows um, so if you're looking for them, we paid $25 a barrel for these when we first got them. I found the place was less than a mile. The manufacturer, when they bought, put them in the, uh, the jars for sale, for $7 a barrel. I thought about going into business doing rain barrels for people. But I still have a dilemma I haven't figured it out. Maybe one of you guys will. Let me go from the non-sun side. Is how to get the water from here over to here. Because last time I just had a, one of those flexible joints going over and in to the other flexible joint I had there. So I have to figure that out the French drain there and there's basically one over there because we hate to have the water in the porch so I thought I'll let you guys know everything's going really well in the garden anyway the uh, I don't know what these are, they're subbing. 
these are some sort of plant. My wife boils the leaves. It's supposed to be good against cancer. But these bitter melons are starting to come out. Right there, you see? So I guess they get germinated and they become the bitter mel melons. So, another fruit type tree, the composter. This is how the old system was going in. We just put this in here. So I buy a new uh, drain to go on the side of the house. This is where the barrels were. Erosion over time just pushed out the wood and everything. But uh, this is my wife's A-frame version I made for her. She hasn't even used it yet. She had it set up, but she didn't use it. But I thought I'd let you guys see what we have. Well, you guys have a wonderful day. We'll wrap at you later.